Okay, we have some new terms to cover. We basically have three definitions and we'll, we'll apply them a little bit at the bottom. So this will be a short video. Um, given a set A, <clears throat> let's let this uh, tilde uh, squiggly mark as usual be a relation on A. If, number one out of the three, number one, if A relates to B and B relates to A implies that A is equal to B, for all A and B in the set, that means that this relation is anti-symmetric. So if A is a set with this relation operator, if it's anti-symmetric, you cannot find two distinct elements where A relates to B and B relates to A. A great example of that would be <clears throat> take the real numbers. If A were the real numbers, and we'll talk about this one a little bit more later, if A were the real numbers and the relation operator is the less than or equal to, for any two numbers, A and B, in the real, in the real numbers, either A is less than or equal to B, well, <clears throat> let me rephrase that. If A is less than or equal to B and B is less than or equal to A, there's no other option but for A to be equal to B. So that's an example. The second one, if the operator, uh, it, relational operator, is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive, not reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, like an equivalence relation, reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive, then it's called a partial order on A. And A, along with the relation operator, is called a poset, a partially ordered set. <clears throat> All right, number three. Suppose A is a poset. And let B be some subset of A. Well, if for all little a and little b in b, we have that a relates to b or b relates to a, one or the other, then b is called a chain in a. And furthermore, if a is a chain, if the whole set a is a chain, then this relational, relational operator is a linear order. And we would call A, with the relational operator, a low set, a linearly ordered set. Now, you don't have to memorize all of these definitions, but you will need to, you'll need to use them in the homeworks. Okay, just some examples, some very simple, small examples. Let's take A as being the set ABC, just three elements. Discuss this relationship here. This says A relates to A and B relates to B. Is it symmetric? Well, symmetric says if A relates to B, then B relates to A. Well, A only relates to A, so that's true. If A relates to A, then A relates to A. B only relates to B, so B relates to B, then B relates to B. Yeah, it's symmetric. How about anti-symmetric? Anti-symmetric says that we need, we need definition up here. If A relates to B and B relates to A, then A equals B. And hopefully that's clear. A only relates to A. Therefore, if you reverse them, A relates to A. And that implies A does equal A. So yes, this is anti-symmetric. <clears throat> is it reflexive? No, because if you go back to the uh, definition of re reflexive, A, refle re A relates to A, which is good, B relates to B, which is good, but it has to be true for all elements in the set, and C does not relate to anything. So I'll put a line through that. It is not reflexive. <clears throat> Okay, same set A, discuss this one. Let's see, all I want to know about this is, is it symmetric or anti-symmetric? 
Symmetric says if A relates to B, then B relates to A. Or let me use different letters since A and B are in the set. If X relates to Y, then Y relates to X for every Y and X in the set. A relates to B, B relates to A, no problem so far. But B relates to C, and C does not relate to B. There is no C, B ordered pair there. It's not symmetric. Now, hopefully you're not thinking, well, if it's not symmetric, it's anti-symmetric. False. It is not the case that it is one or the other. Let's see, anti-symmetric. Anti-symmetric means if A relates to B and B relates to A, then they're equal to each other. Well, A and B are different. I mean, they show up twice in here, A, B, B, A. A relates to B. B relates to A, but A and B are different objects. So it's not anti-symmetric either. Okay, the second example, I think we already talked about this. Real numbers with less than or equal as the equivalence relation. That is a low set, and it's easy to see why it's a low set. Because if, because either, for any a and b in R, any little a and little b, either a is less than or equal to b, or b is less than or equal to a. So that one's easy to see because that's just using the definition of a low set. The last one, this is the, this is the uh, divided by symbol x goes into y, x divides y, and this is the natural numbers, one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. It is a post-set by the definition, it's a partially ordered set, um, but it is not a chain. In order to be a chain, remember this definition here? It has to be that either A relates to B or B relates to A. So in one order, there has to be the relationship. But here's a counterexample to that. 2 does not divide 3, and 3 does not divide 2. So it's not the case that uh, 2 relates to 3 or 3 relates to 2. Neither one of them uh, relates uh, with the other one.